22 we have a figure the figure here is about a type of RNA and another type of RNA where are they found that the questions let's read the question where are the two structures indicated by the letter A and D constructed respectively constructed that mean uh, uh, formed constructed that mean built number E and number D nucleus and nucleolus first A nucleus found in the nucleus or constructed constructed or made in the nucleus and the other one is D in nucleolus let's read of them let's read all of them number B nucleus cytoplasm nucleus A nucleus and the other in cytoplasm no cytoplasm and nucleolus cytoplasm the are messenger RNA doesn't uh, contrast constructing in the cytoplasm number D nucleolus and nucleolus they are found or constructing in the same place no the answer oh that's a, a big figure about a messenger RNA and ribosome so the answer must be nucleus the messenger RNA constructing as the nucleus and the ribosomes are constructing at the nucleus yes that's the answer let's go to question number 23 question number 23 is a code I afraid about the code let's go to what the question ask about what is the sequence of DNA from which messenger RNA is transcribed but not translated into amino acid. In note, here we say that arrow, that the arrow indicate the direction of translation process. If it done, one of them it will not translate. Why? Because it will form. Let's uh, uh, read it and then answer. Number E. T C T A T A T T T C C T. Let's go to the answer directly and go to Y. The answer is B because there are a code. What this code when are transcribed, it will not translate because ACT it will become UGA. What the meaning of UGA? It will become stop codon. All of them are stop codon. That's the answer. Why? They are stop codon which stop the translated process. Yes. Let's go to question number 24. Question uh, that's the answer of 23 uh, that's number B it will be stop codon number 24 let's go to air science air science geology let's read all these questions the question in geology is very 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 long here but uh, some of these questions are very short and uh, uh, I like them the short one let's go to Number 24, the following diagram represents a three-dimensional model of Earth's crust and the part of mantle. The zone A, that's the zone A. B, C, D, a part of Earth's crust. A, B, C, D, a part of Earth's crust. Uh, uh, that's a volcanic mountain chain in the South America continent level sea level content sea level سلاسل جبلية بركانية في قارة أمريكا الجنوبية توضح مستوى سطح البحر بها جزء من مستوى سطح البحر that's one <coughs> uh, let's read the question again uh, the following diagram represents the three-dimensional model of the Earth's crust and part of mantle. The zone A, B, C, D 
are part of earth crust and mantle which of the following statement correctly express zone a b c d uh, each of them are represent a zone b is made of uh, uh, basaltic sima rocks a no b is the belt basaltic sima rocks uh, and c represent solid lithospheric rocks solid lithospheric rocks number c c i think uh, uh, that's not the answer zone a and b are represent earth crust a and b are earth crust and zone c and d represent the upper part of mantle uh, c and d c and d upper part of mantle um, zone a is made up of uh, granitic uh, sial rocks and zone d is like the fluid iron and magnesium silicate maybe d zone a and b are made up of solid rocks that are denser than the rocks of ductile fluid B and D. I means the answer is number C because zone E is made up of granitic sial rocks. Zone E is a granitic sial rocks and zone D is a fluid iron magnesium silicate. Yes, that number D. That the answer. The answer is C. It is, I prefer this uh, 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 information about these rocks because they are many layers. One of them is the right one. Let's go to air science. Another air science question. Here uh, uh, there are 25 study the provide diagram then answer the following structure x y z represent respectively uh, in this equation um, I translate them into uh, English Sukhur Nareya it is igneous rocks Hagar Ramli limestone um, sandstone uh, rocks Al Hagar Giri limestone uh, there are draw here in this figure and uh, Hagaratini mudstone and each of them has symbols. Let's go to the question again. Study the provide diagram then answer. The following structure X, Y, Z represent respectively surface of non-conformity uh, antique line fault or normal fault. Uh, respectively X, Y, Z. X is surface of unconformity. <coughs> y, anticline fall. Z is normal fall. Number B is angular unconformity surface. Y, anticline faults. Z, reverse fault. C, disconformity surface. D number X. That's one. Yes. Uh, sine cline faults D Y reverse fault is Z angular nonconformity surface is X that's one no um, sine cline faults that's number Y no normal faults number Z that means the angular unconformity it will be x and sin, uh, uh, anticline faults that will be number y and the verse fault it will be number z that's the right answer let's go to 26 question number 26 is about earth science let's read the question and decide the answer when the trans Transportation factor loses its speed. The transportation factors lose its speed. It must fall down his carriage. The process that resulted directly is sedimentation, metamorphism, 
crystallization lessification which one is losing their speed it will fall down what they carried so the answer must be sedimentation that's the answer let's go to the question number 27 let's read the question the question is uh, too tall and has many rows let's go to read it carefully two of the main component of earth behave like fluid what are the fluid fluid is uh, a liquid and a gas are um, together two of the main component of the earth behave like fluid they share the presence of iron in both of them but the first has convection current it will be move huh? convection current means that move and the second has very high pressure and the other has high pressure so we speak about two layers in the earth what are they respectively one of them has convection current the first one and the other is high pressure has high pressure knowing that the fluid are liquid and the gas the continental crust and the inner core no the inner core has more pressure yes and the uh, asinosphere and the outer core number c oceanic crust and the outer core and the asinosphere and the inner core i think the answer is b b because the first one asinosphere has convection current and the outer core has high pressure so the answer will be b let's go to question number 28 question number 28 speak about the crystals there are two types of crystal here number y and x they will uh, compare between them and give uh, us many uh, notes about them let's read the question study the previous figure that represent two crystal systems let's go to read the choices then choose the correct answer number x crystal that tetragonal system y hexagonal system tetra means four uh, hexagonal means six let's count them and go to the answer directly we have four faces number one two three four two x four four y one two three four five six six hexa let's go to the answer read it first and go to the answer x crystal of the tetragonal system uh, y is hexagonal hexagonal is right tetra four x crystals of orthorhombic system y tri uh, trigonal three no x crystal of the cubic system cubic system has uh, the same axis hexagonal system is six x crystal of the tetragonal system and y trigonal system tetra four tri three so the answer must be crystals of the tetragonal system y hexagonal system that's mean tetra four and y is hexa six let's go to question number 29. question number 29 has a figure this figure or uh, this picture about crystals where the crystals come from it comes from the kidney kidney stones from the living organism body let's go to read the question and the answer in front of you a picture of kidney stones made of calcium oxalate crystals are these stones considered a mineral what are the mineral mineral is the building unit of rocks not inside the living organism let's read the choices then decide the answer 
Number E, they consider the mineral because they are, they have distinct crystalline shape. No, it will not. They are considered a mineral because they have a specific chemical composition. No. C, they are not considered a mineral because they are manufactured. They are made by. Number D, they are not considered a mineral because they are organic. Yes, that's it, organic. They are made inside the living organism body, so the answer must be number D. They are not considered a mineral because they are organic one. They are made inside the kidney. They are kidney stones made by calcium carbonate crystals. Let's go to question number 30. I like short questions. Let's go to read it. All of the following describe the luster of mineral, except that it is. I like luster. I like diamonds as a luster. Metallic, glassy, transparent, and dusty. All of them are luster, except transparent. It's not a luster. Let's go to question number 31. 31 has a graph. X, Y, Z, L. A long question. Let's go to answer them. Study the previous figure that express the approximate percentage of silica. Here, silica is talking. Let's go to silica. What are silica formed of? They are formed from the sand. All the sand made of silica. Let's go to igneous rocks. In igneous rocks, choose the correct arrangement of rocks X, Y, Z, L in order from X to L. Let's go to X is granite, Y andesite, Z basalt, cometite is L. Which of them has the largest percentage of silica. The largest one is L. It must be, let's read, then answer at last. Beridotite, 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 I'm sorry, Beridotite, Gabro, Diorite, Rheolite. Number C, Microgranite, Microdurite, Basalt, Dolerite. Number D, granite, basalt, andesite, and comatite. Let's answer, then we discuss the answer. The answer, me. Bridotite X, it has the less amount or the less percentage of silica. So, gabbro, it is increased in silica. Diorite is, has most of them. And the other is the largest ratio of silica is rheolite. It's number L. So the answer must be number B. Let's go to 32. 32 question speak about some of the living organisms. Some living organism is foraminifera. Let's read the question, then answer. Question number 32 is air science again. Let's read the question and decide the answer. What type of rocks does foraminifera contribute to its formation. Let's go to read the choices. Number A, organic sedimentary rocks. I think it. Chemical sedimentary rocks. C, surface igneous rocks. D, foliar metamorphic rocks. Yes, the answer is A, organic sedimentary rocks. Let's go to the question number 33. 